Hello and welcome to this first part of All About Nodes in Lightwave. Today's node is the principled BSDF node. The principled BSDF node is the kind of the Uber node where you can create basically every material that you need. Lightwaves offers you different material systems. When you go into the surface editor, you can see here material. And when you use the drop down, you can see that you have different systems for material creations. And you can see here is the principled BSD F node. When you open up an older light wave scene or you import an asset from a library, then probably the material here the material type is set to standard. So the standard material system, it works as well, but I recommend you to use the principal BSDF shader because the principal BSDF shader is more physical accurate and it's based on the system for PBR workflow, physical based rendering materials. So when you have a asset that comes in with a standard material node, you just can easy switch from the standard to the principled BSDF shader and Lightwave actually converts it for you and brings in the principled BSDF node. If you work with Octane, you have some Octane presets here as well to create your material. So let's jump back in our vase material here. You can see that I have added some texture maps and you can also see that all the nodes in Lightwave are color coded. You have red dots, green dots, purple dots, blue dots and white dots. You have these colors in input ports and you also have the colors in the output ports. So what the red dots means, the red dots are specifically designed to use for color maps, which is JPEG, PNG, whatever, every image type that you can plug in here in the red dots has color information in it. The green dots are for images that has grayscale value, which is going from zero to one or grayscale value in general such as bump maps or every image type that has just grayscale value. When I use a grayscale value image here, I often use the Luma output to drive roughness and specular and things like that. You can also use just the blue component, the alpha component, the red component. You can also use the color output into the roughness. And now you can see that Lightwave converts the string for you. I don't recommend you to use this conversion. Use the Luma. It's a linear output and it's outputting exactly the grayscale value. The purple and the white dots, we will have a look in later tutorials. And the blue dots is related to images or data images that comes in that has vector informations. So blue meaning it has something to do with vector, RGB, XYZ, vector information. The best example for a vector image is a normal map. It's a vector tree image or information, and it allows you to create a kind of a bump map, but it's an advanced bump map because the normal map, how the normal map works, it shading the imperfections or the, the structure of your material based on the polygon normals direction. And it's way more accurate than just a normal bump map. You can use the principal BSDF shader as well when nothing is plugged in. To use the settings inside the principal BSDF shader, you have to double click on the node and then it's open up this window. And as you can see here, you have all settings promoted out of this node. 
So what you can do here, for example, is you can turn on the transparency to 100% and you can see that the vase now changes to a glass material. What you also can do is tint the glass, right? So, and you can see that we have a slightly blue tinted glass material. And you also can see that it's affecting the environment as well. So you can see this blue tint on the wall and this gives a very nice result of material. You have settings like metallic. So let's do and create a metallic vase here. Just turn on metallic full on and then basically just increase the roughness a bit. And you can see that the vase is now a kind of an aluminum vase that it's looking pretty good as well. You can also mix things. So if you want to have this metal buzz, but you still want to have the normal map component of your map, then you can use this normal map, of course, inside this principal BSDF shader. All right, so this is the principled BSDF node. And in the next episode, we have a look on other nodes and how you can combine this together. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you next time and bye everybody.